It says Dr. Paul stated in his prayer he is going to talk with you and refer to her comments that many of the transportation problems could be solved by hiring a bus driver. It also says and it's important that uh, put more emphasis on a CDL license, which I think you're actually going to get into that here in a minute. But, um, and I think the one most important thing was it's a two way street.
members, uh, Ms. Clark, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we often recognize our students for their accomplishments at our school board meetings, and I think we can all agree it's one of the most enjoyable uh, things that we get to, to do, and certainly one of the most enjoyable parts of our meetings, and to, today, tonight, will certainly be no exception. At this time, I'd like to ask Renee Pfeiffer.
Mr. Chairman, board members, Madam Superintendent, it is a pleasure to be with you this evening to share some wonderful accomplishments by our middle and elementary school students. The VEX Robotics World Championship brings together top robotics teams in the VEX IT Challenge to celebrate their accomplishments and participate with the best teams from around the world. It provides elementary and middle school students with exciting, open-ended robotics and research project challenges that enhance their science, technology, engineering, and mathematics skills, or their STEM skills, through hands-on student-centered learning. During the VEX Robotics World Championship, a little bit of history, we have to go back to the beginning of the school year, there were 24,000 teams worldwide that began this journey this school year. At the world's competition, that number had dwindled down to 402 teams. Alachua County Public Schools had two teams from Wiles Elementary, one team from Lincoln Middle School, and five teams from Westwood Middle School. The Diamond Block team from Westwood Middle, under the coaching of Mr. David Sankey, made up of eighth graders Antonio Baez, Ryan Jacobs, and Jaden Montgomery, and second grade, oh, I'm sorry, not second, God, seventh grader Oscar Dale qualified for the final round by beating out 82 other middle school teams from around the world in their division. There were five divisions. They then competed against the other five division winners to place third worldwide. Of 24,000 teams. <laughs> the coaches for the teams, again, were Mr. David Sankey from Westwood, Stephen New from Wiles, and Jason Brown from Lincoln Middle. I'd also like to um, say that we have some very important partners. Infinite Energy was our partner. Um, they helped to fund a lot of the, uh, the teams. Uh, that was our financial uh, partner was Kelly Costamo. And our tech coaches, who without, we could not uh, function, were Chris Dodek and Christina Ford. At this time, I'd like to call up our students. Antonia Baez. Ryan Jacobs. Jaden Montgomery. And Oscar Dale. I'd like to bring up Mr. Sankey also so that he can participate with the picture.
chair, board members, Superintendent Clark, and district administrators. Alachua County is proud of our district's K-12 arts programs. We recognize that arts education helps prepare young people to think creatively, learn how to work collaboratively, and to become disciplined, critical thinkers and problem solvers. We are very fortunate to have dedicated teachers and students that are eager to learn and perform. Tonight, we celebrate all that they have achieved through performance, and I'm happy to say that in our district, we have a lot to be proud of. Um, I would like to ask principals or any other administrators that are here to join the board members as I call your school. Um, I will introduce the director and then have the director introduce their students that they've brought with them to represent their program, students who will get to shake hands with board members, directors as well, and then we will do a roll call for opportunity. So I will do a petition to hold hands because we have a lot to be proud of. I'm going to start with Salem Bay High School and their drama program. Drama director, Ellen Latino. Santa Fe Drama's mission is to promote leadership and collaboration through a variety of diplomatic arts and its membership in the International Honor Society. And this year, its members accomplished this through several productions, including their annual student-directed improv show. The spring production of The Odd Couple, the female version, allowed Santa Fe students to explore the work of the late American playwright Neil Simon, which was a challenging and enriching experience that showcased District Thespian Festival, the group received a superior rating for contrasting monologues performed by Shay Allen. Santa Fe is very proud of Shay for her many accomplishments, including UF's Excellence in Theater Award. She continued to the State Thespian Festival to receive an excellent rating. Santa Fe Drama's success this year is a credit to the hardworking students who embrace the spirit of collaboration and celebrate each other's unique.
AHS opens their year in October with the premiere performance of 10 Ways to Survive the End of the World, a one act that was also taken to district competition in December, receiving an overall excellent rating. In December, the GHS students took over 30 performances to districts where they brought home all superior and excellent ratings, two Critics' Choice Awards, two Runner Up Critics' Choice nominations, and for the second year in a row, a costume design that received the District Tech Critics' Choice and represented the entire district in the opening ceremonies of state. In February, GHS Drama presented the musical Footloose to the cast and crew of over 70 students. They then attended state in March, where 24 students competed, and all six of the ensembles received great superiors. They also received the Top Honor Award for Costume Design. They finished out the year in April with the fourth annual Student Directed One Acts, featuring six one acts directed by seven different seniors. Please welcome Sarah Shepard. of Tammy Myers, the Eastside Drama Program creates meaningful shows that continue to amaze its audiences. This year, they produced She Kills Monsters, which spread the message of love, acceptance, and moving past tragedy. 
In the spring, they produced Songs for a New World, a sophisticated cabaret performance where the theme was how change affects your life. Also this year, the Eastside Thespians won many accolades at district and state festivals. In addition to multitudes of superiors at districts and straight superiors at state, they represented District 12 at state and performed at opening ceremonies in Morsani Hall at the Strand Center. The Eastside Drama is proud of their reputation for excellent theater and helping young artists find their way in the world. Please welcome Tammy Myers and Eastside Drama. <laughs> Band, band director Joseph Hughes. The students of the Eastside High School Band achieved incredible success in the 2018-19 school year. Under the leadership of drum majors Willow Murphy and Anthony Bishop Gillis and of President Andrew Brasington, the Marching Ram Band had one of the best seasons in school history. The Marching Band received superior ratings at District Marching MPA and at the Showcase Marching Competition. Both the Concert Band and Symphonic Band achieved straight superior ratings at District Concert MPA. They are proud to continue the tradition of fine musical performance at Eastside High School and to call themselves a band family. Please welcome Joseph Hughes. Hello and, hello and thank you so much for having us here tonight. My name is Andy Brasington. I'm the band president and I am here to help introduce uh, the drum majors Anthony Bishop Gillis, uh, Will Murphy, our band director, and
work, and also some of the other women who have not made the same life maintenance designer, and an artist, a vice president, and an accomplice for actress Ed Wynn. All of those things, so go in the camera. <laughs>
Milwaukee Middle School Band has had a great year. Rachel Peters was selected for the All-State Middle School Honor Band, one of the representatives here tonight. Nineteen students were selected for the Middle School Honor Band for Alachua County, and students earned 36 superior ratings at Florida, Florida Band Masters Association Solo and Ensemble Music Performance Assessment. Twenty-seven students earned a Scale Club Award for memorizing and performing all of their scales in front of the class. Concert Band earned a superior rating at Concert MPA. Symphonic Band earned straight superior ratings at Concert MPA. And they also earned the Linda Mann Five-Year Superior Award for five consecutive years of superior ratings. This is the second Linda Mann Award for the Oak Hill Middle School Symphonic Band. Concert and Symphonic Bands were also selected to participate in the Universal Studios Stars Workshop, where students recorded the music, dialogue, and Foley effects to a clip from the Lorax. The students also got to see how Adobe Premiere, a computer program that the eighth grade magnet students can be certified in, is used in the industry to put together music, sound, and animation. We call them Lori Costa. I'll just reiterate what everyone said. Thank you again so much for the recognition. And also thank you for so many of you that come out and watch these performances. We really appreciate seeing you in the audience. Um, representing our concert band, Lincoln Middle School Band and Orchestra Director Todd Eckstein. The Lincoln Middle School Band and Orchestra had a tremendously successful year, starting with Isabel Sang and Sophia B. being selected for the Florida Music Educators All-State Orchestra. Lincoln Symphonic Band had 26 students selected to participate in the Alachua County All-County uh, all Band. The orchestra received straight superior ratings at their annual stage music performance assessment at Seabreeze High School. The symphonic band served the district by hosting the music performance assessment at Lincoln Middle School for all surrounding county bands to come and perform their annual assessments. The symphonic band also received an overall superior rating. The LMS band and orchestra then continued their year by traveling to Atlanta, Georgia to participate in the Grand National Adjudicators Music Invitational, which a school can only be invited to participate in if you have three consecutive years of superior assessments. Orchestra qualified LMS for this invitation. The band received straight superior ratings with a composite score of 93.95 out of 100 and were recognized with a special award given by the judges for the most outstanding low brass section. The orchestra also received straight superior ratings with a composite score of 97.6 out of 100. The judges gave a special award for the cello section Additionally, Isabel Sang was singularly recognized by the judges as the most outstanding violin soloist, and Noel Waters and Maggie Yan were singled out by winning the judges' award for most outstanding cello soloist. Please welcome Todd Eckstein.
The Westwood Band Program incorporates three levels of band during the school day, which consist of beginning band, concert band, and symphonic band. Students are also extended the opportunity to participate in the jazz band and also drum line. The Westwood Symphonic Band earned straight superior ratings at the 2019 FBA MPA. Both the jazz and symphonic bands earned superior ratings while competing in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Music Showcase Festival. The jazz band also came away from the competition with the Best Rhythm Section Award and five individual solo awards. One band student, Ian Rents, was selected for the All-State Middle School Band. Please welcome David Dixon. Superintendent, District Administrators for your support of the arts in our schools. Thank you so much.
find it easy. I almost more to join a choir, but since I sing in two, I play in my two. Um, but all the time, you know, we do honor choir, we have the Life Temple Choir. Um, they have a dance conductor, and the choir is not only do they sing, but then they focus on the music and just bring the choir and my own favorite song, um, the hymn Son and the Lord Jesus is my Savior. And then I think uh, the young people will just have love for singing and just being singing out there. So, so it's a good, good year for the arts. participated in the national championship for the uh, U.S. Ge Geography Olympiad uh, with Zhang and Quinn Yu Jack Zhang, with no relations. But um, uh, they will join three other students from, the la from other nations, or excuse me, around the nation, as members of the U.S. team, which will compete in the International Geography Olympiad this summer. So one of the other Shout out to, uh, and I wish I had gotten their names, but the incredible ground crew at Citizens Field. Uh, you know, I've, I've been going to events at Citizens Field a long time, and I, you know, it's amazing the number of events on that field and the, the quality, the vision, uh, and that just doesn't happen by accident. So I appreciate.
direction for sure that my faith in science was growing and still is the heart of the problem. The improvement of facilities and centers for our special needs students is very important. Currently, Latchwood County has several locations that accommodate and enrich special needs students. However, none of these <coughs> excuse me, facilities, <coughs> with the exception of a few, few pre-K uh, ESE programs, are located west of I-75. As a result, both growth and sprawl, the location of special needs and the facilities, are disproportionately located east of I-75. With over 7,000 students requiring some level of assistance under the IDEA, we feel strongly that to um, a current school is desperately needed. We would ask the board to investigate this issue and commission a study determining the needs and level of service required for all special needs students in Alaska County. With the limited time given in the public forum, we cannot express our needs and concerns adequately, but we are able to shed light on the issue that is of great importance for Alaska County and for the board. Um, I'm sharing
exciting places I can tell you about uh, services. Um, we also, uh, in April of 2020, did an aggressive communication assessment to make this 80% um, done today. I'm speaking because my, my wife did most of the speaking in our IEP today. job descriptions for director of instructional technology, media and materials, as well as other related job descriptions. The superintendent recommends that the school board approve the proposed amended administrative job description for director of instructional technology, media and materials, analyst, systems slash project leader, chief accountant, manager of physical distribution, and officer, chief technology and information services, as presented.
legislative job description for the manager and the city manager. And I have asked for them to draft this. Do you have a motion? I can motion by Dr. Paulson, second <laughs> by uh, Ms. Foy, and, and uh, I would recognize uh, Dr. Paulson and Joseph second.
for the Jews. So I, I have those two positions that are known as the Islamic Arabs who are the recipients of those funds. So I ask for the, the colleges and officials to put it in the bill themselves. I have no issue with it. But please support it as a form of public support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
work through if they supervise that stricken from uh, the sort of assigned personnel to not act as like, and then the rest is just mostly uh, just kind of clarifying language that just hasn't been cleaned up in a long time. Okay. Any further discussion? Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, not even that was just a concern about that. Um, just to kind of leave it a bit of a discussion about the health and care um, in the transportation workshop.
propose third renewal charter contract that sets forth the terms and conditions for operation of the school and follows the state plan. The contract will expand for a term of 10 years beginning July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2029. The superintendent recommends that the board approve the third renewal charter contract with the Einstein School as presented. Okay. 